Why, hello there. <laughs> I'm not really supposed to start for another five minutes or so, but I'm just too excited, so we're gonna start anyway. Good meowing, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to, well, first of all, the first stream on Mortimer. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Mortimer is my brand new computer. Uh, who is he is he was made for streaming, made for doing this. Um, so that's why everything looks like a lot better. It is going to be running a lot smoother. Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh, of course I start hiccuping as soon as I start talking. But um, Mortimer is also the reason why this, well, technically is kind of, kind of part three of Magical Star Sign. Uh, it's also technically part one again, because I have to start over. Because um, I wasn't able to take my save data with me, which sucks. But as you will find, uh, Mortimer runs... Mortimer is able to connect to my DS much better than Old Faithful was. Not that Old Faithful was bad. Old Faithful was good and very helpful in getting me started. I'm just very excited to be streaming with Mortimer. Um, as you could also probably tell, I have a new microphone. Uh, it is... It is... Mwah, it is very good. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited to have it and everything set up and um, all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, um, let me open stuff up and we will get going. Turn that on, uh, turn that down a little bit, and then transition all right are you ready because i'm ready I'm, I'm i'm so excited about this okay <laughs> oh i know oh i'm so excited <laughs> Oh my gosh, that beat the mic. Uh, okay, that should be better. Actually, uh, yeah, no, that's that's good. All right, so I can minimize OBS. It didn't like that I moved through that window. <laughs> oh, it really didn't like that I moved that window. Also, I have a new because I have a new computer, I have a new keyboard, um, which you will be able to hear every time I press something on my keyboard because it's clicky clacky. It's a click clack keyboard. Um, but, all right, I'm gonna move this again, so beware. Nope. It's okay. <laughs> it's not having a fun time, but okay. New game. Let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. I was just double checking that you guys can't see my mouse. Light. Again, we're starting over. So everything, we're kind of going to be rehashing stuff a little bit. Uh, but yes, our name is Prince. Prince! Let's go. All right. Our friend here is not Pico. This is Baz, named after Balthazar. Balthazar Pharma Kitty, one of my VTuber friends. Okay. Sorbet is named after one of my other friends who is not a VTuber. My other friend, though, Jay. Lassie is being named to my other friend, Holly. Mocha is being renamed to Kellyus. Kellyus is another one of my VTuber friends. I love Kellyus. And then Chai is being renamed to my friend Fox. Nope, not Fnir. Fox. X. 
Yes, a salabander named Fox. It's okay, I promise. <laughs> and with that, off we go. So I know in the first stream of this game that I already like waxed poetic about how nostalgic this game makes me, but um, when I was younger, um, I got this game off of, on a whim because the box art looked cool, um, and I, as I said before, uh, was really bad at it because I was not um, patient. Uh, and I was really bad at, like, grinding levels, and so I got myself, uh, softlocked <laughs> uh, on a boss, and, um, quit playing the game for a while, and then, um, <laughs> uh, took advantage of some cheats and managed to beat the game and loved it, uh, so this is, I think this is gonna be, like, my first time going through it without cheats, but it's also been years. So I might not be remembering correctly. All right. Hey, Prince, where's Miss Madeline? Class should have started by now. Do you think something happened to her? Calm down. She's just late. It happens all the time. She's probably just finishing up her lesson plan. Anyway, it's nothing to get so worked up about. Sheesh, what is this? The 30th time this year? When's someone going to give her a tardy slip? That's what I want to know. I see her! She's coming! Quick, everyone, get back in your seats! I also have a water bottle with me, because voice acting drives my throat out. And I joked about water ASMR previously when I was streaming on Old Faithful, whose mic did not pick up water. Um, or mean drinking water, but this mic sometimes picks it up, so enjoy. <laughs> Good morning, apprentices! I'm sure you were all quietly studying your spell books while you were waiting for me. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Miss Madeline, you must be aware that you are late for class again. Yeah, what's up with that? You're late all the time, but when I forget my homework, who gets detention? Me. That's who. If I get held back again this year, I'm holding you personally responsible. Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry, my little students. I'll never be late again, I promise. <laughs> All right, well, our teacher's got a little nuts. <laughs> All the music in this game is so good. Our story begins on the small planet of Kobumaka, on a quaint and remote edge of the Baklava solar system. This solar system contains many unusual planets, all home to their own unique civilizations. To the many people who live on Kovomaka, stories of other planets may as well be nothing more than fairy tales. But not for long. Hmm. Hothead Baz, a student of fire magic, thinks he's a born leader. His temper, however, says otherwise. Cool and sometimes a little aloof, Jay uses her water magic to show off her sparkling intelligence. Found in a curiosity shop by Principal Biscotti, Carius is a dry and deadpan robot who wields powerful earth magic. The impetuous and willful fox is an odd salamander who draws upon the magical power of the forest. The floppy-eared and flighty Holly is a scatterbrained bunny, able to call upon the magic of the winds. <sighs> Last but not least, there's Prince. Prince! <laughs> a student of light magic whose warmth holds this ragtag group together. These six Academy classmates are about to set off on an adventure unlike any seen on their world, or any other. Bing, bing, bong. Oh, bong, bing, bing, bong, bong. <laughs> I got that completely wrong. <gasps> what are they talking about? Shh, 
I can hear the principal talking to Miss Battleline. He sounds really serious, too. Maybe she's getting fired for being late to class 30 times in a row. Just a guess. <laughs> Everybody's like, what you doing? What's going on? Hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Miss Madeline, you are the only person I could trust with this delicate matter. I'm afraid there's simply no other way. Leave your students in my care. We will await your return. Goodness, why is it always the minute I start streaming that I start yawning? Why? I would like to know. But to the wind planet? Really? Are you sure this is a good idea? Quite sure, Miss Madeline. I need your help in dealing with a very troublesome wizard on Buffoon. Is that so? Hmm, indeed. He was once a student of yours, in fact. His name is Kale, although he calls himself Master Kale now. My sources tell me that he is banded with a crew of villainous pirates who do his dirty work across the solar system. I'm sure you remember him. He seemed like a most promising pupil, but I'm afraid to say that he's, done so he's gone somewhat astray. It may come to blows, and I pray you defend yourself if it does. Kale? With the scruffy hair? But he was such a sensitive boy. What happened? I can't imagine him being any trouble. Gasp. Hey, we have definitely weren't eavesdropping BT dubs. Wind planet? Miss Madeline, it's not true, is it? You're not really going to perfume, are you? Why? You can't leave us. Teacher, we were listening at the door. We heard everything you discussed. Thank you, Carius. You have to go to Pafoon and fight pirates and evil wizards? This is highly alarming. Students, please. This conversation was not meant for your inquisitive ears. Teacher, all that talk about other planets? Are you honestly planning on going into space? I can't remember what voices I gave all these people. Please, I'll be fine. You should be more worried about your tome reports. They're due next week. Wind planet. Tome report. Wind planet. Tome report. Wind planet. After class that day, Miss Badline summoned the students to join her in the meditation room. Bum, bum, bum. What's gotten into Miss Madeline? Why did she ask us all to meet her here? That was absolutely the wrong voice. I wish I knew, but haven't you noticed that Miss Madeline doesn't seem like herself today? She's staring off into the distance. Why yawn now? Why yawn now? You know what I think? I think it's because something Baz did. What? Me? They can't prove anything. I mean, I didn't do anything. Prince, why don't you ask Miss Madeline what's going on? Yeah, Prince, go ask her. <laughs> Completely offbeat. <laughs> well, welcome back. The magical star sign. Gotta save. Because I need to save. Even though we haven't done anything. I don't want to have to go through all this again. Saving data. Data has been saved. I keep you all egg. All right. I talked to everybody. This is pretty weird. Miss Madeline has never called us all together like this before. What do you think she wants? Do you think she knows I hid my carrots in the cafeteria planner? Oh, jeez. I am so expelled. <laughs> do, 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 do. Carries. Bzz, 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 bzz. I sense deep seriousness emanating from Miss Madeline. You know what I just realized? Th no, thank you, Holly, but, um, Car- Whoa! Carious? Um, no, 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 no. Carious's eyes in this- no, 
In this sprite, Karius' eyes are almost exactly like uh, how his eyes actually are. That's weird. <laughs> Man, everyone always tries to blame me when anything happens around here. It's totally unfair. Uh, well, I guess they're usually right in a way. <laughs> She's definitely acting a little strange today. Hey, Prince, go ask Miss Madeline what's up. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Nyal. Nyal. This is where we would we would be enter we would enter the um the stutter zone. It was always the battles, so I'm so excited to see how much better Mortimer runs this. Oh, have you been here long, Prince? Nope. Nope, just just been walking around. Oh, and I see you're all here. Miss Badeline, what's going on? The universe could be a very dodgy place, so it's high time for me to teach you how to defend yourselves. But this lesson isn't your standard spell flinging, so listen well. The skills I will teach you now, I will teach you now, not treat you, teach you now are designed for extreme circumstances. Extreme circumstances? That sounds dangerous and awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you're teaching us how to defend ourselves, does that mean you're taking us with you to buffoon? I just realized I have to keep uh, OBS open on the side to be monitoring my uh, uh, volume level. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, mm, no, children. I'm going to the Wind Planet alone. I'm afraid I don't have time to explain why that is, so please, I'll have to ask you all to be understanding. Now then, Prince, step forward, please. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Look how smooth it is! <gasps> the curtains have parted. Not the curtains. The clouds have parted. The sun is shining down. Angels are singing. I gotta adjust the gate on my mic. Uh, because I keep just going way too loud. Um, but... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Everyone, I'm so happy. Ah! <laughs> Lesson one. Okay, basics first. Tap the skills icon of the upper right. Okay, I can... I can increase the volume a little bit. Okay, all good. Okay, skills. Kick. There you go. Prince can kick, so tap kick and see what happens. Now, before you kick, you'll have to decide who gets the boot. You can target any of the glowing enemies. I'm not going to be doing this as uh, in-depth as I did uh, the first time, simply because I'm trying to get through this fairly all right. Uh, I'm still going to read everything, though. You know, how can I not? I love this game too much. I'm not even upset that I have to do redo stuff. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My, that was impressive. Now let's try our hand at some magic. Magic? I would like to stop yawning. <laughs> Prince can use light magic. As you increase in level, you will learn other magic. For now, this is all you've got. Choose the spell you want to cast, and then choose a target. Excellent. Using magic consumes magic points, or MP for short. If you don't have enough MP, then you can't cast that spell. You'll want to watch out for that. Sorry, I'm watching trying to see what was making my my uh, mic uh, audio thing like jiggle. Uh, and I realized, oh, it's because it's picking up Mortimer's fans. <laughs> and then it was also picking up when I click. <laughs> I told you, it's clicky. It's clicky. Oh, but you do recover a little bit of MP throughout the battle, so don't worry too much. A frog! Frog! Nom 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 frog! Gummy frogs can restore some hit points or HP to the party members who eat them. When a party member's hit points drop to zero, he's KO'd. If everyone gets KO'd, that's the end of your game. Ah, 
Ah, ah, I love this game so much. Now for defense. I'll set my phone down though, so it's not sliding in my lap. You can reduce damage from enemy attacks if your guard is up, but you'll never win if that's all you do. Yep, you gotta do other stuffs. This command is repeat. You'll do exactly what you did in the last round. Okay. I can also run away. <laughs> you could also choose flee. If you think you're going to lose or just don't want to use MP, maybe YP or yawn points, apparently. Try running away. That's all for lesson one. How about a little break? Haha. <laughs> I've taught you only the absolute basics of combat. Do you feel you understand them well enough? Eh, I got it. For your next lesson, I'll teach you about rows. I'm gonna up the music. Just suspicious. Prince and Fox, step forward. There we go. That looks much better. Okay. Lesson two. Let's learn about rows. Prince is in the front row and Fox is in the back. Your enemies will sometimes be split into two rows too. First, let's talk about the front row. Everything I taught you about attacks and magic can be used from the front row. However, some of those attacks, like kick and tail swipe, can't hit enemies in the back row. That's because the enemies in front are in the way. Yep, if I kick, I can only choose these two. The battle system's fairly intuitive. Um, and it might also just be memories coming back, but I'm like, oh yeah, this is how it works, that's how it works, yada yada yada, I got this. <laughs> Look at the enemies in the back row. They're not glowing, are they? If you want to hit enemies in the back row, you have to take out the enemies in the front first. If that proves to be difficult, you could love some magic over the enemies in the first row to reach them. Physical attacks have to target the enemy, the closest enemies, but magic can target the back row as well. I'm gonna lower my voice just a smidgen. There we go, that should be much better. But hey, you're all wizards, so I expect you to use that magic like it's going out of style. There we go. Now I'm not having to, like, consistently be like, am I getting too loud? I can just talk in normal voice. Normal. Normal register. Arc light! Alright. Yes! <laughs> I'm really glad I turned down my volume, or else I really would have peaked the mic right there. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that's what I was really struggling with previously, because the stutters made it so it was not impossible to hit this this, like, frame-perfect, um, tap you have to do to get ultra power. Ultra power. Oh, chair noises. Okay, gotta move up closer. Oh. The healers will be upset at me if I keep slouching. Alright. That's the other good thing about streaming on Mortimer is I actually have a chair. I'm actually sitting in, like, a chair. Um, so I could, like, sit up and not have to be leaning over my laptop. It also means I can do this. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That probably wasn't much fun. Oh, but then again, I don't know. Maybe it was. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Now let's talk about the back row. You can't use physical attacks from the back row, so your skills won't work there. I'm going to tilt my microphone up. There we go, that should... That should be able to do it. No, actually, now that I'm like really looking at it. I'm still experimenting. I'm still figuring out what works and what really doesn't work. Um, so far, everything has worked. <laughs> uh, but, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together, Melrose and Yarns. <laughs> All right. See, your skills button has gone dark. So just remember that you can't use physical attacks from the back row. Maybe I'm gonna move it back a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Prince messes with his microphone. The stream. Ah, uh, but when you use magic from the back row, well, just try it. Oh, we 
just gonna be able to watch the magic without having to go through the stuttering hell. Oh, oh, I didn't get it that time. Yes! Oh, it's not stuttering, it's not horrible. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, what do you think of that? When you use magic from the back row, you can hit multiple enemies. From the back row, you can focus and then set your magic in a high arc so it doesn't hit your friends in front. Of course, there's always a drawback. Your magic will be so spread out that the spell's strength gets a little bit diluted. What's true for you is true for your enemies. If they're in the back row, they'll have group attacks too. We'll wrap up lesson two with a little word about switching rows. During a battle, you can move members freely between the front and back rows. I'm just going to talk with my normal voice for this part. However, getting everyone in position before the battle is the best way to go. Still, if you find you need to move around, just use the move command. Same as everything else, you just tap the move command and then touch the character you want to move. See how they just slide right into place? Move, move. There we go. Very good. That concludes lesson two. Yeah, I'm not going to voice act everything that we've already, that I've already kind of voice acted. Uh, when we get to the part of the, um, <laughs> we'll get, when I get to the, I, we'll see if I get to the part of the second stream, uh, where basically my internet was being disgusting. Um, uh, oh, sorry. It was like, I knew drivers available for download and I was like, what? Huh? Do I? <laughs> uh, but when we get to the second one, what I did in the second stream, um, we will, I'll do start doing voice acting again because that stream basically got lost to the ether. Um, <laughs> uh, it was a not salvageable. Like even I, I couldn't understand half of what was going on and I streamed it. <laughs> All right. Uh, drill this information into your young apprentice brains. You must never, ever forget about Rose. If you do, you'll find yourself looking foolish when you can't cast the spell you need at a critical moment. Is that clear? Yeah. I think now would be a great time for your third lesson. Prince and Jay, please step forward. Alright, lesson three covers your star signs. These can have a very important effect on you, so listen carefully. First, let me tell you a little about the relationship between the signs. Tap the sign relationship icon on the bottom right. <laughs> Everyone has a star sign, even the enemies you fight. Your star sign determines the type of magic you use. For example, Jay's sign is water. The diagram here shows that water, what water is strong and weak against. Red stands for fire, green for wood, yellow for wind, brown for earth, and blue for water. White and black stand for light and dark. You would do well to keep these in mind when using magic. Now, Jay, try using a little magic, won't you? So, because my first introduction to uh, tight, tight matchups, basically, was Pokemon, um, that's a little bit of how I remember this. Um, except, for some reason, grass is effective against wind. Ah. Uh -uh. I guess it's because if you throw, like, a stick at a bird, the bird will fall. <laughs> I, don't, I, I really doubt that's what uh, the game designers were thinking of, but that's what my brain goes to. So, yeah, fun. <laughs> uh, try using a little magic, Jay. Hellstorm, yeah. I got it the first time, and now I'm having trouble getting the special tap. <laughs> special tap. It's a special tap. See? Impressive, wasn't it? Didn't you notice how powerful that was? That's because your water magic is strong against fire type signs. Fire sign targets, Jay. Using magic against its weak sign doubles the damage your magic does. On top of that, they can only do half damage to you. That right there is the real difference between magical and physical attacks. Now let's take a look at the actual planets. Tap the astrolog icon on the bottom left. Oh, this is great. I can spin in my chair. I can, like, continue moving. I couldn't move on uh, Old Faithful because Old Faithful has to stay plugged in or else Old Faithful uh, crashes. <laughs> Old Faithful does not have a battery life anymore. Um, so I had to stay hunched over Old Faithful all the time. 
But now that I'm on Mortimer in a chair, I can like swing around the chair and like move. Man, the minute I get like an actual animated model, y'all are gonna get to see just how like nonstop I move. <laughs> it's gonna be a little interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can see. There's the sun, the fire and wood planets, the wind and water planets, and the earth planet. Think of those these planets as yourselves. The five colors of light that stream from the sun create five colored areas. When your planet bathes in its own color of light, the aura of the planet will booster your power. It's quite easy to see in space, really. That's the power of the planets. Trust me, you don't want to forget this. Your planet's aura can give you power. That wraps it up for lesson three. Light signs are strong in the day, dark signs are strong at night. This is very important to remember. Well, do you have the hang of it? Trust me, we do. We beat three bosses. Four, actually. Now, that's just the basics. I'm sure you kids will be just fine. Probably. <laughs> Anyway, it's time for the final exam for this little crash course. All of you must attempt to take down these targets. Yeah. Beep. I love all the little, like, noises the monsters make. It just makes the world, like, a lot more alive. Alright, well, you are moving to the back row. Because you are gonna be... If they hit you, they hit you for way more. <laughs> Alright, well, lava spuds. Lava spuds, everybody. Lava spuds. Yes! <laughs> I love the stupid little noise where he's like, Hah! He sounds like he's like falling off a cliff. Ah, oh, darn. Oh, this is running like a breeze. Seriously, I'm so happy about this, how this is running. Oh wow. Goodness gracious. That that uh <laughs> Well then. Do, 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 do. Yes. Literally also the music in this game is just good. Like there's no other way to describe it. It's just good. <laughs> um Like I don't think in this entire game, I've really run into music that I didn't like. Now that I'm really like thinking about it, um, it all just is good. Um, like battle themes, uh, town themes, planet themes, all the music in this game is just mm, good. <laughs> like a like a like a all I can think of is like like a cupcake. <laughs> it's mm, very good. Alright, 100 XP, sweet, cool. Level two, 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 level two. Gotcha. Had enough? Yep, good, we'll end your lesson for today. However, I've written everything you need to know down in your encyclopedia. If you check your magical navigator in your pocket, you can review it whenever you want. With that information at your fingertips, you'll be set for galactic fun. All set for galactic fun. Are you serious? Are we gonna travel to space too? So wait, we're all going to space now? Cool. Whoa, no, no, I'll be going alone. Yes, quite alone. And yet, I've got a strange foreshadowy feeling. If anything happens to me, I want you to be prepared. Oh, sighs in knowing. <laughs> what could happen to you? You're Miss Badline. You know, well, everything. Well, I don't know. Just a weird feeling is all. I don't want to alarm you. The important thing to remember is this. You each have great power. Believe in it. And the very next day, Miss Madeline departed from the academy. Principal Biscotti wouldn't say a word about where she had gone. He simply hung his head and said this. It should have been me. He looked sad and more than a little worried. I don't remember. So, so I know how this game ends. I know like basically the the plot points of this game, and I very much remember the ending because it left such a big e effect on me as a younger prince. Um, but oh, yeah, three months later. <laughs> um, 
but I don't remember if it ever I'll have to double check that might be like the kind of like foreshadowing where we're like ah oh, shit did he know about everything that was about to happen well we'll see because I don't remember not here yep she's not here what's the matter Baz Fox looking for someone we uh kind of lost Holly we I don't know what got into her head she went totally psycho, talking about how she was going to take off into space or something. Space? What gave her that idea? Holly must think she can find Miss Madeline on the wind planet, right? I mean, it's been, what, three months since anyone saw her, right? So maybe she really is in trouble, and maybe we should be doing something about it. Hmm. We're all a little worried about Miss Madeline, but how does she expect to get into space? Hey, maybe... What? Do you know something? Out with it. Hey, Carius, you know that old prank the seniors play on freshmen about there being a rocket ship hidden in the school? Yeah, that was really funny. Ha! <laughs> I still remember how the seniors hid in that necromancy lab, waiting for you to come in there looking for a rocket. Oh man, that was hilarious. Oh, it's like snipe hunting. <laughs> Which is probably something that not a lot of people know about anymore. Uh, but basically, snipe hunting was like, let's mess with some kids. Um, like, so my Earth uncle uh, taught me about snipe hunting because I got tricked into going snipe hunting. Um, he was like, a snipe is a bird. Um, and they only come out at night. And they're really, really pretty. And um, if you want to see a snipe, you have to go out at night. And this was at my um, Earth grandmother's house, which uh, backed up to kind of a field that also backed up to some woods. Uh, and there are a couple trees, you know, dotted in the field. Um, he's like, you have to go back to the trees that kind of line where the edge of grandma's yard backyard is. Um, and you have to call out here snipey 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 here snipey 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 um and he's like in you know have a have a, a plastic grocery bag with you because when you see a snipe you can catch it uh what i didn't realize is that i was i was very young i was very very young uh it was me my earth brother and my earth cousin and we were all hanging out well, not hanging out. We all bundled up, because I think it was a little cold outside. Uh, and we trudged, tromped our way out into the backyard uh, by the tree line. And we all went, Here, snipey, 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 snipey. Here, snipey, 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 snipey. So what we didn't know was uh, basically it's a prank that you, pay, you play on people. And while they're calling out in the dark, here, snipey, 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 you hide, you being the one, yeah, you know, enacting the prank, you hide in the dark, and when they get close to you, you jump out and scare them. Uh, except my Earth uncle did not uh, realize that I had been uh, trained in self-defense. <laughs> Ish is what you could call my reflexes. <laughs> So he jumped out to scare me, and I about smacked the crap out of him. I was like, mm -mm. uh, and, uh, yeah, everyone else, all the other adults knew exactly what was going on, and they were just like, mm hmm. Uh, but I was, I was not a happy camper after that. <laughs> but yes, uh, continuing on after my side story. Wait a second, are you saying she's actually trying to find that rocket? Whoa, Fox, do you think it really exists? We gotta find it. Yeah, let's go scout around and see what we could find. Those two are hopeless on their own. I'd better go along. They think there's a rocket hidden in the school? This is ridiculous. We're gonna get laughed at again. Hey, Carius. Right. Like they're going to find an operational space rocket hidden in some back room of the school. Yes. Fine, I guess I better come with you. Somebody has to talk you out of doing anything stupid and human. Ba, 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 ba. Carius has joined your party. Carius! I love you! <laughs> a 
still remember the first time I was on Call of Carious, and I did that voice, and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my vocal range. Bitches. <laughs> All right. Oh, yep, this is just the teacher room, and Biscotti is like, what are you doing here? Ah, have I made a mistake? <laughs> what is that voice I gave him at that moment? <laughs> huh? Now, now, you have no business here, and we can have him wandering around. No. <laughs> no, that's almost as bad as the, the voice I gave to the mole prime minister. And that one, like, wreaked havoc on my throat. Hey, we're doing classes for today. Stop looking so serious and go have some fun. Class is over. Only bad kids have to stay after class. Well, except for me. I just like to hang out here. Is that weird? Detention again? This is so lame. Professor Pistachio is such, such a villain. Even his laugh is evil. Meh, meh, meh. That laugh bounces around in my head. And my head used to be such a quiet, empty place. Uh, I wish Miss Vanline would come back. Under Professor Pistachio's iron fist, I'm living in constant fear. How does he expect us to learn when he's so busy slapping people at detentions? Class is over. If I were you, I'd be out having fun. Huh? Me? I got detention. I couldn't finish Professor Pistachio's hexonomics homework, but I don't get it. He never even gave us a sample problem. Oh, man, I'm so glad that I'm out of school. Hey, Prince, curious, did you hear? There's a rocket on campus. A rocket! We gotta find it. Hey, no running through the halls. Quick, someone call a hall monitor. Yeah. Suck it. I'm running if I want to. This door won't budge. This door won't budge. I've been hearing weird noises coming from the storage room. It's kind of freaky. Uh, Prince, Jay said she saw something suspicious in the storage closet up ahead. She went up, she went up to check it out. Excuse me. We're not supposed to go out through the back door. There's secret stuff back there that will get you in huge trouble. Exactly. We are nothing if not tiny rebels. Oh, hey, Prince, look at this wall. It looks like you might be able to climb it, huh? Yeah, it actually kind of does. I sense traces of previous access. Someone has climbed through here before us. You climb the wall. Wanna climb up? Heck yeah. Why not? All right. Time for the door. Eek, what is that? Hey, Carius, you know what that machine is? Uh, someone must be performing an experiment here. An experiment? What kind of experiment? Whoa. <laughs> what is up with that door? <laughs> I just accessed the school's architectural blueprints, and there's no record of this door. How curious. Knock, knock. Open up. Hey. Hey, you. Wake up. What is the meaning of this? You seek to open the door to the heavens. Yeah. <laughs> I can grant entrance only to those who I, what we hold <laughs> great power. If you seek to pass, show me your power. Touch the symbol of light inside your pocket. Yeah, sure, whatever, weirdo. Well, my optical sensors are overloaded. 
There was like not enough. Now opens the door to the heavens. Man, can you imagine if your face split? I don't want to imagine that. Prince, you opened the door. Excellent observation. Who knew there was such a creepy door in the back of the storage closet? And who put this back here anyway? Well, it's open now. Might as well see what it is guard what it was guarding, right? Yeah, it's guarding rockets. <laughs> Surprise! We know this already. Alright. Beep bloop bleep. I check fresh put put prints. Fresh put prints. <laughs> Thank you. Fresh footprints here. Just another of the many fine details your frail human eyes cannot perceive. I bet those are Holly's footprints, but what's she doing back here? I don't know. Wonder what. They lead up the ladder. Whoever it was climbed up here. This ladder here? It's really tall. Not tall enough. Rockets, yeah! Rockets, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, don't ask me. So that's a rocket? This rocket seems to be in pristine condition. It could be spaceworthy. Hey ho. Whoa, check this place out. What is it? What are all these pointy paw things doing here? No way, the rumors are true. Even after she told us, I half doubted that Miss Madeline was going to poofoon. I guess she was serious, though. These are space rockets. <laughs> See, I can do that, too. Launch preparation sequence complete. Oh, crap. Now opening launch bay doors. Lift off in T-minus 70 seconds. <laughs> oh, it looks so much better on Mortimer. <laughs> I don't know why I'm repeating the noise back to it. Like, that's gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, I'm slouching again. I need to sit up. Oh, I love looking over at Mortimer. On the OBS is saying only 0.5% of my CPU is being taken up. We're doing this on, uh, Old Faithful had like 40% of CPU being taken. The roof just opened. Great job, Captain Obvious. Squee! When you push this thingy, a pretty red light show sparkles on the screen. I wonder what this lever does. Yoink! It's yawn fast for prints. Oh, you know what I just realized? I can move my um, headphones into my microphone so I can monitor how loud I am. I'll do that later. Maybe next stream. I really don't care to hear it right now. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Time to wake up. What? Er. Uh. Hello. You can board the rocket. You want to go inside? Heck yeah! No, I'm just gonna let my friend last off without me. Giga floppy neurobrain online. Real time actuators activated. Hypercoils warmed and toasty. Sup, Baz? Sheesh, is anyone gonna tell me what's going on here, on around here, or what? Liquid fuel injectors loaded. All systems are go. Liftoff preparation sequence complete. Pull the lever to initiate launch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oink. Giga boosters, giga blasting. Liftoff sequence initiated. Prince? Yeah? Uh -huh. Need 
to adjust how I'm sitting. I'll never be able to get away from that. Professor Biscotti's like, oh no! Also, it's awesome because I could lean. I'm leaning back on my chair to stretch. And you guys can still hear me. Not as amazingly as you can as you can if I'm up close, but. Whoa! <laughs> my chair makes bad noises. I'm sad you got y'all can't see me grooving. Oh no, Holly hit a rocket. And she falls to Earth, the Earth planet, and we go chasing after her, as if nothing could ever go wrong. Da, 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 da. The jaw prints for not thinking ahead of what your actions could cause. Right. Dink. We're alive. This is the rocket you crashed. The whole crashing part wasn't kind to the rocket. Time to save. Alright. Way over here. Because here is Holly's rocket. This is Holly's rocket. It's not much of a rock anymore. Inside the rocket, there's some cocoa water in a bottle. Would you like to get it? Absolutely. We got some cocoa water. Ugh. Ugh. Water. Get the cocoa water from the rocket. I already got it. You give Holly the cocoa water. Gulp. Gulp. Okay, phew, I feel better. Huh? Was that? Prince? Is that you? What are you doing here? For that matter, where is here, anyway? We're not on Kobomaka anymore, are we? Nope. I remember zooming through the blackness for a while, and I remember Kobomaka getting smaller and smaller. You know, for all that we're, we, like, see what the other planets look like, we don't ever, I think, get to see what Kobomaka Maka looks like. Hmm. Huh. And I remember these other stars and all getting bigger and bigger. But that's all I remember. But I'm all okay now. And now I've got you with me, Prince. We're in this weirdness together now. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Holly's joined your party. Yatta! Hari Ketto! Alright, cool. I wonder if my rocket landed okay. No, it really didn't. Let's go check it out. It's aw dang it! I think it's all busted. And this doesn't look like any wind planet to me. What are we gonna do? We're lost in the middle of nowhere in outer space. At least the rocket's heal mat still works. If we run into trouble with any space monsters, we can always come back here to get all patched up. Oh, that was a nasty noise that my throat did. My throat didn't like making that noise. Somehow the magical rock, the magical healing device in the rocket's still working. You wanna use it? Yeah, sure, can't hurt. Literally, cannot hurt. You recovered all your HP and FP. Can we run into monsters in here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yep, and then we come up here. And it's like, oh, struggle, struggle. <gasps> The wind is pushing us back. Hear me, wind, hear my call. Dancing in the sky, shaping the clouds, whispering to the heavens. Hear my plea and send your gale. Wind! Hmm. Oh, 
big yawn. We did it! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Come on. Oh, I think. Nope. Okay. How we do it? This. <laughs> Not a hiccup. Maybe a hiccup. Not really a hiccup. Whatever. Okay. I did it. I really did it. The sound storm's gone. Don't sweat it, Prince. I know your light magic will come in handy soon enough. Uh. Maybe now. Ba -ba. Sorry, I know the music is too nostalgic. I can't not like sing along. Ah! Wind Talon! I keep missing. All right. We're just attacking. Just gotta keep attacking. Whoa! Yay, Garoonies! Okay, that only does 23 damage. I mean, that's still a lot, but it's not that I'm, like, legitimately worried about it. Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> I do like all the monsters have damage sprites, so you can tell when they're low on health. That's something that I very much like. Yep, so see his eyes are closed, half closed? Oh gosh. Uh, that means um, he's on damage. He is on damage. Listen to what I'm saying, but actually don't, because I don't know what I'm saying. Ha 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 ha! Da da! And now I don't mind grinding because we don't have to deal with the uh, stutter zone. Wow, did you see how powerful you were in that fight? That was incredible, Prince. I bet that's what Miss Bandlight was talking about, which is that the power of the planets can help us. Yep, definitely. Alright, just gotta keep going up. Do 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 do. <gasps> Huh? What is that? It's huge! Alright, saving because I don't want to fight the antlion again. Alright. Uh, Prince, are you, uh, thinking about going in there? Yeah. It's risky and probably totally stupid, too, but I'm coming with you. You gotta. We gotta progress. <gasps> huh. Huh. It's kind of dark, huh? Hey, uh, Prince, I'm a little freaked out right now. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh, no. Intruders detected. Initiating annihilation protocols. Ah, something's coming. I should have made, uh, I should have made her back row. I forgot. I need to make her back row. Intruders detected. Running merciless crushing program 1.3. You <laughs> Uh, I keep forgetting this all the time. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I should move her to the back. I also should have probably healed. I think I made the same mistake last time. <laughs> oh. Uh, something you should know about Prince, number like 47 or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't learn from my mistakes often because I often don't remember them. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
yo 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 oh I don't like that that doesn't that doesn't go well no oh, come on well, I can at least get one down and then I should only be working with like 40 damage then Oh. Yep, 23. Yep, yep, I'm in my own damage pose because I've got 37 HP left. Jeez. There we go. So this should get him. I gotta remember to keep Holly in the back row. Yep, alright. Yikes, what's up with this place? Uh, we're leaving. Don't worry about it. But Rose, I, yeah, Holly in the back row. Did I? Did I? Did I? Huh? I didn't do that. Or did I do it and forget it? Uh, I, I'm not gonna second guess it right now. But yes, please use the healing rocket. Yep, all my HP and MP recovered, which is good because I was uh, close to uh, death. <laughs> well, not like really close to death, but I was uh, significantly closer to death than I was comfortable with. I'm sure death is a nice guy at all, but you know, I'd, I'd like to have my space. <laughs> this place is giving me the creeps, Prince. Can we go back? Nope. You're pretty brave, Prince. Okay, I guess I can keep going, too. Hey, uh, Prince? Isn't that a rocket? That it is. That it is. Yes. We should borrow it and see if we can't get ourselves buffoon, you think? And when I say borrow, I mean hotwire and steal it, but you got the idea. Oh no! Gasp! More of those robots? Not again! Intruders detected. Run anti spyware utility. It's this. It's this dude. Intruder detected. Purge, purge, purge. Ready? Because this is gonna hurt. Electro knuckle charging. Ready to fire. Target acquired and locked. Firing in T minus. Uh oh. Run for it! Yeah, no chance. And we get knocked out. We get knocked out. We get up again. Ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. Prison. Welcome. It's prison time. We're in prison for cute crimes. Crimes against humanity with our cuteness. Too cute. No, how dare you leave us? Well, stupid robot. It's a gigantic robot prison guard. It's watching you intently with three surveillance cameras. Ack! Oh. <gasps> Where am I? And what's with that giant robot? Oh. <gasps> Prince, where are you? Can you hear me? Uh, am I all alone? What could have happened to Prince? Uh, Prince, if you can hear me, tap on the wall. Bonk. Bonk. That was more like kicking it, but good enough. Prince! Oh, thank goodness you're alive. And you must be right on the other side of this wall, huh? I'm so glad you're here. Wait, that came out wrong, but you know what I mean. Looks like we're in trouble, huh? What are we gonna do? There's this big ditch or pit or whatever you call it filled with scary, pokey looking needle things. Plus those robo thugs are everywhere. What do we do? I got a brilliant idea. I make it bright. And then the monster, or the monster, the uh, robot, gets in the spikes. 
because he can't see. Yeah! Explosions. <gasps> yeah! Da, 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 da. All right, give it one second. And now, we go over here. I have a treasure chest. I got a sugar star. Press the button, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on? And they have the robots come back? No way. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> it's okay, Holly. It's just me. Ah! Back off, Mega Freak! Hey, that's that's not nice. Whoa, Prince! You came to rescue me? No, I, I came to sacrifice you. So I'll go free. Yes. You are so my hero. Did you beat up that gigantic robo-guard? No, not really. Holly has joined your party. Yay. <clears throat> Hiccups. Saving. Even though it's only been eight minutes. I'm a little bit anal retentive when it comes to saving. I'd like to put Holly in the back row, please. Don't give me that burner. Burner to you, too. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. I watched you explode. Stay down, brother. I know you're angry. I know I'd be angry too if I was in the same position. But look, we can we can talk this out. Or maybe we can't. It's gonna be okay. Look, I'll just win Talonia. And everything will be totally fine. Maybe I shouldn't have put Holly in the back row for this one. Yeah, this might not have been my best idea. To put her in the back row, because that really decreased the spe spell's power. I try to make things better, and then I just end up making them worse. Like, come on, really? Oh god, level 3 lock on. Uh, I think I can waste a turn moving. Technically. That's all I'm doing is wasting a turn. Alright, Arclight. This is not gonna be as good. Hey, I'm fairly okay now in getting the, um... Uh, fairly okay in getting the, um, hit things. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> that was a- oh, that was a weird laugh. I'm sorry about that. Hey, we're at the damage sprite. Yeah. Oh, hey, is that not? Sorry about your ears. Also, I don't like how long Zapnet lasts. So I always feel like it's doing like way more damage than you think. Oh, come on. Seriously? Get down. Like, just go down already. Seriously? Again? Okay. Well, thankfully, we're, we're level 3 now, so... Level 3. Level 3. Hmm. Nobody messes with a... Nobody messes with Prince or me. <sighs> hey, look, it's a spidey mole. Yo, what's up, son? Hey, what's up? That's a spiny mole. Oh, there's a monster in the wormhole. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Oh, I guess it keeps whatever thing you had previously. Oh, that's not gonna be fun. I'm not gonna like this. <sighs> um, can 
Can I kick? I can kick, okay. Oh no. Okay, that's not terrible, but that's... Oh, missed. Sweet, cool. I like that. Uh, I really wish... Sweet, cool. Okay, good. Um, I really wish we weren't having to fight the monsters, but, you know, take what we're given. And we deal with it. <laughs> and sometimes what we're given is, uh, crap! Oh, bless me. Dodging all these attacks. Damn. Oh. We still got the yellow worm. Let me see. I think... Yes, I can arrow key. So we're just gonna wait for this one. Because I don't want to have to deal with another monster. Actually, you know what? We'll just deal with it. It's mud boys again. Probably three of them again. Yep, three of them again. Alright. We just gotta be uh, on our game. Which it looks like we're gonna be up on our game pretty soon. I need to move Holly to the back row soon. Uh, probably after this fight. There's no really no reason to have her on the front row. Now. Now that we're less likely going to be fighting one singular enemy. Oh, seriously, come on. Oh, yes, nice. I like missing. I like, I like when you miss. Oh, I don't like when you hit really badly. Nice, cool, sweet, cool. Now just kicking. More kicking. <laughs> You ever wanted to kick a mud monster in the face? It's a very specific desire. Don't think I've ever had it. Oh, uh, then again, I haven't seen many mud monsters, especially not here on Earth. You can find them every once in a while in Melorosia, but... Well, you know, not exactly Melorosia, around the, the area around Melorosia, but... Oh, hey, it's daytime! Thank you. It's pizza. Hey, hey, you, my friend, are in the right place at exactly the right time. Why, you ask? Well, listen to this. If you give me a sugar star, I'll create a warp point for you right here. Once I've got this warp point set up for you, you'll be able to warp here anytime you like. So what do you say? We have a deal? Yeah. And just like that, it's all taken care of. Wasn't that easy? Anytime you want to warp, just pop your old magical navigator open. Easy. Right then, be seeing ya. You know, if you don't have any sugar stars, just poke around on the ground. You can usually find some after there's been a strong wind. I'd look myself, but I'm kind of busy here. Oh, you'll have better luck if you look near a pot. Wish I knew why, but there you go. Thank you. Alright, well, we gotta go this way. We gotta go down to the moles. There's a hole here. You wanna jump in? No, not just yet. Gotta save. Shh, I don't want to fight that guy again. Prince the constant saver. Alright. Okay, so I believe it does save your previous row. Um, calculation, coordination, combination. Hey, Layden. Hold it right there. This is the kingdom of the spiny moles and you're not welcome. Hop on back where you came from. No. No? Uh, well, at least I tried, right? I just heard someone talking about how a couple of magicians had escaped from the robot. Was he talking about you? Yeah. You're joking, really? I don't mean to sound rude, but I thought those robots were pretty powerful. And you look pretty not. Well, I'm sorry. You're, you're a mole. Wait, wait, don't tell me. You're the ones that broke out of the robot prison, aren't you? I heard all about it. Yeah, that was us, but honestly, we don't really know what's going on around here. We're just trying to find the wind planet and rescue our teacher. I'm pretty sure we're on the wrong planet, but where are we anyway? You're a long way from Buffoon, that's for sure. No, you're on Earth, Earth planet. I'm sure you've heard of it before. You know, home of the famous spiny moles. Uh, yeah, uh, spiny moles. 
Yeah, we have a legend. It says that when we've eaten all the worms in the earth, heroes will descend from the heavens and deliver us to a uh, world worm-filled paradise. Oh, um, excuse me. It, it makes me drool just uh, a little bit just thinking about it. And you're saying we're those heroes. Exactly. I mean, you are, aren't you? I'm not so sure about that. Maybe you'd better see our king. He's been waiting for you to arrive. We all have, actually. Alright, welcome to the kingdom of the spiny moles. Yet again. Welcome to Pete Moss, home of the spiny moles. Oh, thank you. Psst, it's Romano. I heard all about what happened. You were head for buffoon, but you ended up here by mistake. Smooth, real smooth. Yeah, shut up, Romano. I hear you were headed to buffoon before you crashed. You must be so lost. They say our king is the greatest digger in the galaxy. Maybe his royal hand. Hannes. Maybe his royal highness, maybe his royal highness can dig a hole to the wind planet. Nah, what am I saying? That's impossible, even for his majestic claws. Salvage shop. Head straight the door and go to the cat on the right. You should stop by the salvage shop for weapons and protective gear. They'll come in handy, assuming you remember to equip them. If you're ever feeling a little worse for wear, come stay at the sweet root inn to heal yourself up. You're still young, so even one night in it should heal all your wounds. I resent that. Welcome, take a look around. I can sell the rusty screw because it doesn't do anything. Okay. We can get two of everything. Okay. Back. Leave shop. Thanks. And then we go here. And we go items. Uh, equipment. Bandana. There, there. With the wrists. There, there. Vinyl shirt. There, there. Cool. And then we rest. Hello, welcome to Sleepy Day. Stay the night and rest up. A little shut eye and all your injuries will be healed. It's five at night. Yeah, I can only stay three nights, though. Are you planning on staying until morning or until evening? Until morning. Have a nice restful slumber. So basically, we're staying in there a whole day. Oh, we're gonna miss it. Gonna miss the best time to be out here fighting Earth enemies because the wind planet is in line. Lots of magicians used to live here, but Laura must took them all away. I was pointing you and telling you. It's not like you do anything about it. The king's waiting for you just ahead. I'm not doing the voice again. It hurt my brain or my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. I'm Groot Gruvier, cousin to the noble king Gorgonzola. Or Gorgi, at least call him back the pouch. I might not be as high and mighty as the great digging king himself, but I'm doing well I'm doing well enough as a court troubadour. Oh, my digging king shows the claws, moist with earth, that dug for us so swift this village new. Hey, I'm Colby, king's grandson. I don't know if that means I'll ever get to be king, but I don't, but I know it means I get awesome birthday presents. Hey, what's up? Salutations and welcome to Pete Moss, capital of the spiny little empire. I don't know why I'm giving him the, like, sleazy carman salesman voice. Mole empire? So you're all moles? Moles, how dare you? I don't- I'm not giving Minister Moonster his, uh, voice again. That- nope. Too much. We're spiny moles, can you not see? And you are addressing his royal majesty, King Gorgonzola, the 30th king of the spiny mole dynasty. What our minister says is true. We are King Gorgonzola de Vomagio, 30th king of this mighty mole monarchy. Nope. Y'all- that's all you're getting today, and y'all. I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I... <laughs> I had an 11 hour day yesterday and today uh, was like eight and a half. Uh, and so I'm enjoying just playing this very nostalgic game and not having to worry about much. Just playing through stuff that we've already played through and enjoying it. Uh, judging by your appearance, you're not from this planet, and judging by the fact that you kept the royal's prison, Minister, could these young magicians be the one prophesied to appear at the time of the Great Perishing? Are these the ones sent to bring salvation to our world? Undoubtedly, Your Majesty, no doubt they are the heroes of prophecy, the ones who come to us in the Doomy Times. Uh, Doomy Times? 
but the story is well known to our people. You see, when Doom comes to this world, heroes from another planet will save us. You, my young friends, are from another planet, and now I fear is indeed the end we feared for so long. Once we had many magicians living in this kingdom, but the robots have taken them all away, made prisoners of them. And our earthworm harvest has dwindled. Heroes, but we're not supposed to be here. It was an accident that we were even in here in the first place. We were trying to get to the wind planet to look for our teacher, Miss Madeline. We just crashed here by accident, and now our rocket is busted and we can't leave. Such humility, it speaks well of great heroes that you do not even see your own greatness. You want to go to Pafood, and yet you have no ship, and so you want to help us. You want us. You want to help us so that we might help you, yes? Uh, no, no, that's not really what I was trying to say exactly. Don't be so pessimistic, space heroes. We are certain that you will find your way to the Wind Planet in due time. Yes, all in due time. Minister, fetch us the books. With all due haste, your clawfulness. Noom, noom. Noom, noom. Here you are. The prophecy is written in two books. One is the Book of Darkness. The other is the Book of Light. Read from the Book of Darkness. Yes, your majesty, ahem. In the doomy times. That's how the best books of prophecy always seem to begin, don't you know? Allow me to read on. In the doomy times, saviors will appear from a far-off planet and the reign of the Ant Queen with the power of magic. The Ant Queen? Yes, the scourge of our people, the Ant Queen. She has harried our kind for far too long, and she must be stopped. This is the favor we must ask of you. Vanquish the Ant Queen. Will you accept our request? Asher. Yeah, sure. Ah, you have our gratitude. Uh, Prince, did you, uh, didn't you, uh, hear the whole bit about the scourge of our people? Are you sure about this? The Book of Darkness also says this. The heroes will lead the spidey moles to a wormy paradise. Uh, but the hero's journey will not end. They will continue on to greater deeds. A wormy paradise? I didn't even think it was possible to combine those two words. The heroes will defeat most villainous evil. The spiny moles will be at their side when that moment comes. But you will help us sooner or later, right? Fine, I guess we just have to take your word for it. Thank you, O Shorter of Two Heroes. Now, tend to the Ant Queen as is your destiny. Rightly spoken, your majesty, but they may need time to make whatever preparations they deem necessary. Already done. Ah, yes, there is a reason we kept you around, Minister. You are ever a gushing font of wisdom. The heroes shall prepare in our village. We will travel to the digging field and await their arrival on the outskirts of the village. Yeah, we already did our preparations, so we'll just, uh, just follow you. I'm not gonna go read all the books again. If you really wanna go read, if you wanna, you know, hear me doing all these voices and everything, uh, you can watch the first VOD of this is actually up on YouTube. I posted it yesterday, I think? Uh... Uh, which is, you can see on screen, uh, the name, it's same here as here on Twitch, it's uh, Melorosia Prince. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, prior stream mods, 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 vods, and uh, as well as some YouTube exclusive stuff if you want to go check that out. Um, preferably not right now, but I mean if you really want to. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah, the king was really upset about the... Um, uh, magician is being kidnapped. All right, you're clear to visit the sacred digging grounds if you want. Go on through. Thank you, thank you. All right, it's time for digging. Go down the ladder there and then go deeper and deeper into the caverns until you find the Ant Queen's lair. Uh, heroes that you are, do not feel the need to be extra superheroes. If you take any injuries, come rest at the local inn. It can be dangerous in those caverns and you must be cautious. All right, so here is the uh, short little grindy section. I want to be probably about level five, I think. Five or six. I want to be level five or six um, before I fight the uh, Ant Queen. Wait a second. Are you the ones who vowed to destroy the Ant Queen? The heroes we've been hearing so much about? Yeah, right. You're just telling me what I want to hear. Uh, hey, heroes. I have a little advice for you. Those leaping guys are gummy frogs, and they're very handy. If you capture one and eat it, you'll regenerate, regenerate some of your HP. Grab them to stay safe on your quests. But don't overgrab them or else uh, they don't respawn. <laughs> don't over harvest. Uh, yep, nabbing frogs, eating frogs, deliciousness. Hey, Prince, you should take her easy with the whole frog and worm catching. See? Though vanish if you catch too many. See? I told you. Full of delicious HP restoring water. If you ever hurt, just drink up. This is an HP pot. Drink the water that's a collected side of it and you'll recover all your HP. As if that wasn't the coolest thing ever, you'll find sugar stars around the pots. So don't forget to use wind magic whenever you see one. Speaking of. I'm not reading it again. Dance. Dance, wind, dance. Basically. 
Sugar stars. Sugar stars. Sugar stars. Sugar stars. Hey you, yeah, heroes, I'm talking to you. And I guess you're talking to me now too. Look, you see those leapy things? Those are gummy worms. They are in fact living, breathing candy creatures. Incredible, isn't it? Eat one to recover some magic points. Be careful when you're hunting them though. Sometimes monsters will jump out of the wormholes they dig. No, that's exactly what I want. There's a monster in this wormhole. That's very much what I want. Ugh. All right. Yep, I knew the wind planet had moved out of alignment. Ugh, that sucks, major booty. Oh, it just got out too. All right, well, wind talon. So the guy on the right is a mage. Uh, and so he is not gonna take like any damage from this. I just kind of already know that. Yeah. However, he does take some nice kicking damage. He kick. Yep, and then he smacked me with his cane. Hey, Tupel can play at that game. Oh, hey, hey. Sweet, cool, sweet, cool. And then I win Talon it. I really, I know I've said this multiple times now, but I really, really, really love the music in this game. Um, and I'm so happy that I can, now that Mortimer is up and functional and running, uh, that I can play without uh, going through, going to the um, stutter zone and like actually like, I am actually able to like listen to the music. All right, more monsters. Well, usually I would try my best to avoid these guys. Um, the music makes it so it's not that bad to do all the grinding stuff. Um, plus, if you get the um, this, it uh, double it, like helps your damage, so doesn't make grinding as terrible. Ha 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 ha! See. Ah, uh, darn. Okay, well, uh, you're just gonna guard, um, because I'm just gonna kick, and there's no tappity I can do. Oh, you, you dodged. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Yep, just repeat your dodge. Or you're, you're a guard. And you just keep kicking. I don't like the magic. That did almost 50 damage. You could absolutely kiss my booty. that HP pot. I feel the cool clear water that restores HP. Would you like to take a sip? Absolutely. That was an absolutely disgusting noise and I that's how I feel just making it so I'm really sorry. The Anquid's territory is up ahead. Wander around there and you'll just ask if your ant soldiers come wail on you. I know that's really kind of what I want. All right. Prince open the treasure chest. I got some nuts bread. Uh, seriously, come on, really? All right, well, um, yeah, just guard. You gotta stay in the back. I can't really move Holly up to the front because um, I really need her in the back for when we hit the multi enemies. I just gotta hope that. Um, I hit this next one. No, you just keep guarding, I promise. There's nothing for you to do. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness gracious. Why are there not 
Is there seriously... Am I seriously only running into, like, one enemy? Because if so, I'll just move Holly up to the front then. There's no need to have her... Uh. I'm gonna see if I run into any other multi-enemies. Alright. I got a thunder bomb. Got a wakey tail. Those things look really weird. I'm not certain I like them. A multi? Yeah, multi. Oh, but that's not good. Uh, yeah, let's, let's move you up. It's not our best, um... I'm gonna have to keep... I guess I'm gonna have to keep Holly up in front in case we run in... Because it's this stuff. Oh, come on. Come on, other... Come on, little prince. Can't you j dodge? Oh, seriously? Yes, you, you kick him. All right, and then kick, more kick. All right, cane smack. Seriously, come on. All right, more kicks. So yeah, how have you all been? I hope today is, what is, today's only Tuesday, right? That's right, today's only Tuesday. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys have had a good Tuesday. Uh, it feels like it's already like Friday for me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready for a weekend again. Um, even though that was only like two days ago. Um, oh, come on. Uh, over the weekend, I recorded and edited a episode of, um, Minecraft, um, where I'm attempting to build the Melorosia uh, Kingdom in Minecraft, uh, and I won't I won't spoil like much, as if there's like much to spoil. It's 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 Minecraft. Hey, cool, got it. Um, but I had a lot of fun. It was my first like build big video editing project, um, in a long long time, um. And like the first video editing project with this new software um, on Mortimer, um, and it was just um, it was just it was um, it really reminded me that I, I like doing video editing. I like editing videos, even if my 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 taste in video editing is a little unique. <laughs> um, but I enjoy editing videos, even if it's um, you know a little rough, I guess. Not rough. Um, time consuming. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, ugh. Ugh. Come on, seriously? Um. But yeah, um. I, I really. So far, um. It's been getting a lot of, like, traction, I think? Like, a, a lot of traction compared to my other videos. Uh, up on YouTube. Um, because, you know, I still babby. Alright, I gotta go heal up a little bit. Um, but I, I really enjoyed A, recording it, and then B, editing it. Um, and, like, I... I was I was a little worried at first. I was like, "Am I gonna enjoy video editing?" Uh, because if I don't, this is this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> um, but oh, sweet cool, yes. Uh, so far, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's a long but rewarding process. Um, and like between that, I've also been looking at um, live two D tutorials. Which I haven't actually got the program. I'm waiting until I have a vacation time where I can like devote time to learning it. Um, but I'm really I'm excited to get into that as well. There's there's so many things that I'm like excited to be getting into um, with all of this. 
Um, I'm excited to share things with you. I'm excited to play things with you guys. Uh, I'm super, super looking forward to the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the games with chat stream. Like that, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, because that's the that's the 200 uh, Twitter follower thank you stream, um, and as we we are we are slowly we have we've inched a little closer to the 300 uh, follower goal, which was me playing a horror game, <laughs> which uh, is going to be really interesting because I'm not certain how that's going to fare, uh, because I'm like really bad at horror games. Like I'm just going to put that straight out there. I'm horrible at horror games. Um, like, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I was just going on autopilot. Uh, no. Um. Ugh. Um. Great, 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 great. Um, but like, on the Minecraft episode, I was playing in Easy Peaceful. Uh, easy Peaceful, that's... Uh, easy Creative, which I'm literally invincible. Uh, and I was still shrieking every time I heard a monster noise. Um, and I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, me playing a horror game is not really gonna be fun. Uh, well, it's, it's it's not gonna be fun for me. You y'all might like it. Y'all are probably gonna like it um, because I do make some very interesting noises when scared. But um, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really really interesting. Ugh. I have so many cool plans. Oh, chair noise. So many things that I'm interested in doing that I can't wait to do and share and have fun with. Um. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, wow, we have 240 beer. That's great. Uh, let's just say the future is bright uh, and I'm excited for all of it. Okay, we're almost close to fifth level. Uh, and then we're gonna try to level up to six. Um. We're gonna try to get to sixth level because I think I was at fifth level the first time I was playing, the first time we did the amp boss. Um, she wasn't hard, uh, but stream two, the second boss really um, was was starting to get iffy. I thought I was gonna die a couple times, um, but I can um, I can. Uh, prevent that if I do a little bit of grinding, uh, which basically just means that I get to chat with you guys more. Uh, and I always enjoy chatting with you guys. Um, I'm really like appreciative that each and every one of you is here watching this, whether that be on Twitch live or on YouTube afterwards. Um, like literally every single one of you is, means like a lot to me. And I, I don't know why I always get, I always get really sappy about, um, this stuff when I'm like just rambling. <laughs> um, sweet, yes. All right, level five. Sweet, cool. All right, now we just have to do one more level. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I apparently tend to go towards the sappy when um when I am just rambling. But yeah, um, no, okay, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm already a little bit over leveled. Yep, a little bit over leveled for this space, but for the boss, I just want to be absolutely certain. Um, um, nope, 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 hold on. I was going on autopilot. Don't autopilot, Prince. No autopilot. Think. Actually, use your brain. It's a little bit soup from today, but use it. Scroll the soup around and get some sort of coherent thought. Um. 
Yeah, there's... I'm... Ah! <laughs> um, I'm just... I'm very optimistic. Which is weird. I didn't used to be an optimistic person. It's gonna... It's, it's gonna sound weird, but y'all are seeing... Y'all are seeing Prince post... Post some, like, deep self-reflection. Uh, past Prince uh, would not have been... I don't think Past Prince would have been interesting um, to watch. I Very much Present Prince is a better, a better entertainer because I'm not stuck. Um, and I, I, it's probably the nostalgia of this game that's making me think back to stuff. Like, remembering, oh, how how was my life when I was first playing this game? And how different is it now? Um, and it's a little, it's a little crazy because I was... <sighs> I played this game in middle school. Um, and this game is very much not... A no, I, I wouldn't say it wasn't appropriate for a middle schooler. Um, it was, it was, I was reading, I was reading darker things that, um, but, um, I don't, I don't even know where I was going with this whole train of thought. Um, maybe just that, <sighs> I, I mean, I, I tend to be really, like, positive on Twitter and try to be like, you know... Positivity. Spread positivity because be the change you want to see. Uh, and I wish for more people to, you know, feel better <laughs> about themselves and what they do and all that. And so I, that's, I kind of, you know, practice what I preach. Um, and I, once again, I've lost the train of thought completely. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just interesting because when this game first came out, I was very much not a practice what I preach person. In fact, I wasn't even a preach it person. Uh, I wasn't. It, it. There's there there's a lot of there's a lot of good that can come out of. I don't know, taking a a, a, a look at yourself and being like, mm, is this healthy? No, this isn't. And once again, I've gone down strange rabbit holes of rambling as I beat up ants. <laughs> That's the one thing I never was as a kid. I was never the type to, like, hurt ants. Like, I didn't really want to. Um, I, I didn't like ants. I mean, I, I don't think anybody who other than, like, future entomologists or... Yeah. And... and is it entomologist or ento or, or etymologist? I think it's etymologist. I have to look this up now because that is gonna bother me. I'm gonna be like, did I say that right or not? It's gonna eat me. I'm gonna be laying in bed. It's gonna be midnight. I'm gonna be staring wide-eyed at the uh, ceiling being like, is it etymologist? No, etymology is the study of words. Entomology. Entomology is the bugs. I said it right. Heck yes. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna. Now I'm still gonna lay at night looking up at the ceiling and being like, I said it right. Yeah. Alright. Okay. We're not that. We're not terribly far from six level. Alright. Alright. Let's just keep beating up ants. But yeah, as a as a child, I I wasn't one to beat up ants or you know mess with ants. Um, I was the kid who sat and like mixed water and grass and like dandelions and stuff and made like potions. Um, and it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I mix a little bit of dirt and water and you stir it with a stick, and then you put in a leaf and you're like, haha, I've made a potion, and then when they're like, recess is over, and you just kind of pour it in the grass, and you're like, eh, it's all natural stuff anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, if that tells you anything about Little Prince. Dun, 
We're doing it. We're doing it, Neil. We're doing it. We're gonna get to the Ant Queen and we're gonna be like, bam, bam, bam. And she's gonna go out and I'm really thirsty, so pardon me. Haha. -ha. Wata. I probably should be drinking more water. Every day my Earth mom looks at me. She's like, you look dehydrated. And I'm like, probably. I should be drinking more water. Most likely. Except I always forget. Always forget. Whoa! Hey there, mister. That was um, too much damage. You shouldn't have done that much damage. I don't like that. I'm gonna need to go heal up. Just like that. All right. All right, healing time. All right, how close are we from six level? Come on. Or level six. Why am I saying six level? Like a D&D &D character. Level six. All right, we're really close. We're just gonna hang around the queen's chambers and fight whoever we come across. Oh, I remember. Uh, yeah, the kids, kids who used to like battle ants or like you know kill ants, I always would be like, no, no. Um, but I always felt really bad for the ants. So I'm like, they're not doing anything. Um, oh, there was one movie. We had a school field trip to like IMAX, I think. Um, and it was it was like a movie about bugs. It was like the hidden secret, the secret world of bugs or something like that. Um, but it was the first time that I heard about playing praying mantises uh, eating. The, the female eating the male. Um, and I just remember being like, wow, big bugs. And then they're like, the female eats the male after uh, they copulate. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, level six. Heck yes. Now it's time. I'm gonna save because I don't wanna go through that again. We grinded for 33 minutes. No, we did not save before we started grinding. Prince. My memory is bad, but it's not that bad. All right. Uh, how's our health? Uh, okay, 248, that's full. Uh, 190, okay. So we're only missing a little bit of MP and we're gonna get that back anyways. So time to go. God, she's disgusting. All right. Ew! That icky pussy you think has got to be the queen ant, don't you think? I know we literally just saved. I'm still saving again. I also don't like how this is called the ant hole. We have a lot of money. We have a lot of money. <laughs> Miss Queen Ant, Miss Queen Ant, it's gonna be okay, I promise. I don't want to kick, actually, you have to win Talon this guy. Nope. <sighs> hey, not bad. Oh, is it nighttime? Yep. <laughs> oh, come on, seriously? I. Just enter the battle and it's nighttime. Oh, sweet. That was, um. Oh, come on. All right, well. Oh, come on. Uh. 
Ugh. Not the time for me to lose the touch. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going. Ant acid. I don't like it. Don't like it. Ugh. Oh, your defense is down. No! Seriously? Now you have to do that? Okay, you only lost 20 health, and she only gained 10. That's not, like, you know, all things considered terrible. There we go. Thank you. That's that's what I wanted. Uh, but still, that was much more than... Wow! Wow. That was not bad. Hey, I got the touch back! I got the touch back! Yep, so she's gonna lackey call. Oh, seriously? Both of them? Okay, well. Ready? Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay, so she's hurt. Uh, her animation changed, so she is nearing the end of her, her life. So that means I just gotta keep wind talon and Win talon, talon, and and and. Heck yes, please. Good. That's what I wanted. Yes. Hey, that's that's amazing. That's that went much faster than the first one did. And she even was like calling lackeys and all that, like much more than she was the first time we fought her. Hey, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it. Sweet. I'm not gonna, you know, be upset. Ew, I think she left something. Yeah, she did. She kind of pooped it out. Should we at least take a peek inside? Yeah, let's get ant poop. Uh, da -da -da. Got some diggy claws. <sighs> Yuck, what is this? Looks like some kind of glove. It looks nasty. I can't imagine picking something up that had just been in a giant ant's ass for lack of a better term. <laughs> oh, you really want to come fight me? I just murdered your queen. Like, this really is not your finest hour, Mr. Mr. Um, Mage Ant. Heck yes, all these critical hits. Um, but yeah, now that we're one-shotting these uh, mage ants, it feels great. It feels like real good. <laughs> I'm loving this. All right, cool. Thanks so much for putting that queen in her place. Stray ants still wander around sometimes. We can take care of them easily. All right, it's time for magic water. Nope. I I, I know it's an HP pot. I was actually trying to talk to the pot uh, because I am aware how it works and I wanted to use it. Uh, yes, please restore my HP. Hey, froggos. I'd like some froggos, please. I would like some green gummy frogs. God. I really need to get, like, figure, like, a gummy bear recipe. Uh, the king's waiting for you in the throne room. Thank you. I need to get, like, a gummy bear recipe and make it and just pour it into, like, frog shaped molds because now I really want to eat gummy frogs. Like, this game makes me crave gummy frogs on, like, a, a, a spiritual level. <laughs> I'm kind of craving that only gummy frogs can satisfy. My spiritual needs are satisfied by gummy frogs. That sounds, like, really bad. Like, ow. Owie. I bit my thumb. And it hurts. It hurts. And then I whacked it. You know, pressed hard on it. You've anguished our hated enemy, the Ant Queen. Yes, I have. There's little left to do but declare you a mighty hero, Prince. Thank you. Allow me to extend our most sincere thanks. Thank you. Please, you must tell us, do the Foul Queen have a spe spe something special on her personage? Yeah. Uh, special, not so much. She just had this weird-looking glove. Here, you take it. Could it be, have you recovered the great dig tool of legend? You have. These are the diggy claws. One knows the legends, of course, but one never truly believes that such a thing could exist. But here it is. Uh, what? The diggy claws? Allow me to explain. Spidey moles are excellent diggers in soft soil, but even we have trouble when it comes to hard soil and rock. We've dug everywhere we could on this planet. We've dug up every last worm that could be found in the softer soil. 
The dicky claws are the answer. With these, burrowing through solid rock is a breeze, indeed a joy. But these are useful only in the hands of a spiny mole. But you did fight so very hard to retrieve the dicky claws. Go on, take them. Uh, n n no, no, really, we, could, we couldn't. You're the ones who are crazy about worms. Huzzah! Do you hear that? They refuse our kingly reward. Do you think that perhaps they truly are? The cause of your voice to break down and stop working? Absolutely. Uh, there can be no doubt. They're indeed the heroes foretold of the Book of Light. Minister, fetch me the Book of Light. With all haste, your clawfulness. New, 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 new. Huff, puff, wheeze. Here it is. Read it immediately. Ahem. After forming a bond of friendship with the spiny moles, the heroes selflessly refused the king's reward, caring not for their own happiness and thinking only of the well-being of the spiny moles. And then the heroes, ah, wah, 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 wah. Keep reading. I can feel time. Nay, history itself is on a cusp. They will release the sleeping planets from their curse and will then depart for new horizons aboard a ship of light. All dreams of all men shall come true at that moment. That's so moving, so poignant. Heroes, you mentioned you were heading for Buffoon, did you not? Now it is our turn to return. Our turn to help you as you have helped us. You are to journey to New Horizons, so the legend says, and so we will do whatever it takes to send you to the planet of winds. I understand a rocket lies dormant in the center of the Cave Ruins, deep in the innards of the planet. The Cave Ruins center around a tower of great power. When the tower lost its power, the spaceship became dormant and slept. The only thing that can wake it is the star buried in the land where stars sleep. While I know a few details of this legend, I'm sure you'll be able to unravel the mystery on your own. Great hero prince, grant these regal claws the opportunity to help you. We shall dig you a hole to the land where the stars sleep ourselves. Would that we could do more to repay our people's debt to you. We shall begin at once to the digging grounds. Oh, and take as much time as you may need. Preparing, this may take a while. See you there on the digging grounds. To the digging grounds! Alright. Alright, I need to sleep. Hello, welcome to sleep right in. Stay in the night, rest up. A little shut eye and all your injuries will be healed. If I bear at night, I would like to stay. And I would like to stay till morning. Which is not very far away, but it's quite literally like two turns of the hourglass, but... Oh, I'm so excited because now I can actually like sing for you guys more and it'll sound nice. Come again! No! That's what I wanted. Talk to, talk to King, talk to King. There we go. We shall take a hold of the land where the stars sleep. Oh, but before we do... Treasure! Blarney! Blarney! Stand aside and let these heroes approach our most treasured treasures. I want your majestic, majestic mol molnessness, mol molness, molefulness. Are you ready? Then let us go. By your leave, your majesty, not to question the power of your claws, but are you feeling well enough to do this? Ah, uh, my trusted advisor, you worry too much. We have the diggy claws, so we have nothing to fear. Where you lead, we follow your majesty. Your majesty, we'll come with you. Oh, it's like a team. Ugh. By all means, my friends, we shall go together. Right! Right! Whatever weird toad noise I made last time. Oh, hey. Have fun. These diggy claws are as fabulous as the legend said. We can claw through solid granite like it was nothing but so soft and creamy cheese. There's nowhere we can't dig. Allow me to extend a most regal thank you. Look at that twinkle in his eye. He must really like digging. Come along, young mages. The place you seek is here. We are sorry to see you gay. G gay, gay. We are sorry to see you gay. <laughs> We're sorry to see you go, but the time is upon us, so goodbye. Yeah, you go dig, sir. Go have fun. Like, frolic in your dirt for all I really care. Alright. Slippy oil. <laughs> two hair clips. And two wooden clogs. Some interesting stuff of your treasures. Uh, equipment of wooden clogs. Clog, clog. And then hair clip. Clip, clip. Alright. I don't remember what each of the things is. 
MP, power, IQ, defense, spring, spirit, agility. Okay, gotcha. Best of luck to you. Aha, it seems it got carried away, dug the wrong way. How foolish, haha, Gorgonzola. The digging king. Our king is a digging machine. He got so excited that he got a bit carried away. This place is practically a maze. This is really not. Hey there, big heroes. You have a good one. Hey there, HP pot. Oops, we can't get with digging. Since you're coming all this way, we shall leave a treat for you to find. I got 100 beer. No! Well, I, I guess I need to work out, make certain that I'm ready to go to the next portion anyway. Uh, because we're actually... We're actually not making bad time. For two hours, including grinding, to get this far is not bad. Yeah, so we need to get a little uh, higher in skill because we want to try to be able to be one-shotting these enemies. Well then, maybe I stood a little bit. Sweet, yes, I love missing. Or I love when they miss. Um, that was a weird mouth noise that I just made there. Um, yeah, because the next, we've got some more fights to do. Uh, and then when we get off Erd, I'm gonna call the stream here because that's gonna be about halfway through the second stream that we basically lost. <laughs> um, oh, sweet. Oh, Healing Wing. We got a level seven. We got Healing Wing. All right, and have the yellow gummy worm. Have the yellow gummy worm. Nav the yellow gummy worm. And we're just gonna take the monster in the wormhole. All right. Yeah, to do two, a little over two hours, I'm gonna guess two and a half, possibly to three. I think three would be our like worst, worst case scenario, is this would take three hours. Oh, okay, hello. <laughs> Okay, I was like, we want to be one-shotting the enemies, and then I level up once, and suddenly I'm one-shotting the enemies. Okay, okay. All right, I, I, I see. I see magical star sign. I see. All right. All right. Uh, how's my HP actually looking? No, uh, no, not Erd. Uh, not Log. Team is what I wanted. Okay. Yeah, we're still 100, 100. So we're totally fine. All right. Our most royal appreciation heroes, climb up here and you should reach the land of the star sleep. We did not fully believe the minister when he first told us if you're coming, but when you brought us the DE clause, we had no choice but to believe. You will achieve something great. You may well save our world from the dark times. To you, we may seem nothing more than naive underground diggers, but that does not matter. To us, you are heroes. And we will tell our future generations of the hero named Prince. I'm so sad. Do not cry, Minister. Let us send them off with the hero's farewell. Huzzah! By the way, heroes, do you know where your journey takes from here? Yeah. A very encouraging reply, but we must be certain. If you are lost and the fog of indecision clouds your path, see us. We will offer our royal guidance. Heroes, huzzah! No, may that double huzzah! Heroes, hip hip hooray! And hooray to Holly, too. Good luck out there, Prince. Thank you. We're gonna set up another warp point. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to get the sugar stars. That's what I. That's why I was heading towards the pot. Hey, don't mind us. We gotta get the free shit off the floor. <laughs> I know we're heroes, but look, free sugar stars. Sugar stars, sugar stars, sugar stars, sugar stars, sugar star, sugar star, sugar peas, drop them. I don't know why that's where my brain was like, hey, that sounds like sugar peas. Sugar peas. All right, we're back, we're here. The land of star sleep. Which I think, yeah, we called it after this for the first stream the first time. 
I don't think it'll take us 20 minutes to get through. We got some... Ooh, let me tell you about reflex guards. When you're about to get attacked, tap yourself at the right time to pull off a reflex guard and take less damage. Oh, hey, I, um, I didn't know about that one. Oh, spell strikes. Yep. Yep, I knew spell strikes. Reflex guard I didn't get. All branches are connected by giant root network. That's why we know so much. See this cave? The brownies are piled up about three mountains to build it. All right, cool. I learned, I actually learned something. I don't remember talking to that radish last time. Okay, interestingly. All right, well. <sighs> wow, look at the size of that thing. Hey, Prince, it looks a little like a windmill, don't you think? But what's it doing in a cave? There's no wind here. Don't worry, Holly. That's why, that's what we're here for. I swear, I could swear there's just a massive windmill, all right. It looks it looks taller than the whole academy back home. But that's so dumb. What's the point of building a windmill underground? There's no wind here. Holly, that's what we're here to do. Is to provide the wind. I remember this part had me so confused when I first played it. I was like, what am I supposed to do? Um... And then I don't know how I got it. Um, and I just never forget it. <laughs> uh, it lights up like a Vegas sideshow. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Yep, and look at that. It's lighting up. We're sending power through. Oh, that's uh that's a treasure chest. Let's open the treasure chest. Got puppy pee. For a brief moment I was like, did I say puppy pee? Because that's not what it is. It's putty. It's like a putty. But I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't have told you. Alright. Yep, can't go down here. Just here. Alright, up we go. Oh, but it's robots. Ah, more robots! Trespassers detected. Beginning purge routine. I think I should have thrown Holly in the back. Again. Yeah, Holly's gonna need to be going in the back. Oh, why is it always when they power up? Well, well, pooey. Oh, having the second spell is so nice having a healing spell. Oh, so good. Oh, wow. Wow. That was not bad at all, actually. I... Why am I missing the touch? I am missing the touch. Hello, Keekers. Hello, Keekers. She's like, I came to see what you're singing about because it must be about the Kiki. All right. All right, up we go, up we go. Intruders detected, eliminate, eradicate, exterminate. <gasps> Gasp! Oh no, whatever are we supposed to do? Uh, I have an idea, and it begins with K and ends in ill. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to get the... Nope, I keep missing the timing. I can't get complacent now that we're just absolutely wrecking shop still. Excuse me, uh, treasure chest. I got 250 beta. Oh my god. How much? I have a thousand beta. Sweet, cool. I like that. All right. Intruders defe de defected, detected, cleanse, and disinfect. That's a little too on the nose for right now, Mr. Robot. So here's the thing about uh, in the planets, uh, Erd. Erd goes really slowly. So Erd is gonna be in um, ready for uh, making them more powerful for a long time. Hey, there we go, finally. Got back in it. 
Um, so they're gonna be way powered up for, like, definitely a while. Uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, oh, that's right. This is back up to where we were with the rockets, yep. Okay, it's Holly's rocket. But we're gonna use the magical healing device just to get all our MP back. There we go, sweet, cool. Off we go, off we go. It's so creepy. <gasps> Introduce detected, purge, purge, purge. It's so beautifully creepy. I'm seeing it all glowing, lit up. And you're like, oh. All right, Wind Talon. Man, there are three planets in alignment right now. Come on, seriously? Nice. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, let's see. How close am I to level eight? Okay, we're about halfway to level eight. That's not terrible. All right. <sighs> the lights are on. The wind will must be pumping juice into this place. Yep, and we're gonna go fight robots. Intruders detected. Purge, purge, purge. Uh, the, we're gonna do a little bit more grindy. I'm gonna see if I can get to level eight. I do like that it heals up a uh, full uh, for the first round. So if you one-shot enemies, you basically don't run out of MP. Oh, hey. Yep, I knew we wanted to- I was like, I think we might need to be leveling up. And yes, we should be leveling up here because the robots are more powerful. Oh my. Oh my. Or is she just healing 9 MP now? If you're just healing 9 MP now, that's amazing. <laughs> Alright. Intruders detected. Reformatting intruder's face. No, thank you. Please don't do that. I have a pretty face. I like my face. Alright, yep, so the fire planet's about out of orbit, but we don't really don't care about the fire planet. And I did see right, she is now healing nine um, MP every turn. That is about how much it costs to do it. That's, no, that is exactly how much it costs to do a Wind Talon. So, um, uh, Holly is now a completely uh, perfect machine. <laughs> oh, come on, seriously? Oh, really? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, don't hurt me. I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little birthday boy. Oh, come on. Okay, I. why am I losing the touch? What is up with me losing the touch right now? Okay, I am losing the touch again, somehow. True is detected, initiating crush face protocol. I need to be able to take these guys out in one hit as much as possible. Um, so come on. There we go, jeez. Oh. oh, you know what I haven't been doing is doing that reflex guard thing. I'm gonna give that a try, because I'm definitely gonna get hit. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! We didn't get hit. Intruders detected. Disinfect virus. Again, a little too close to home. Thank you. Alright. Wind Talon. Ah. <sighs> Uh, grinding just got so much easier now that I don't really have to worry about Holly's MP. Alright, let's, let's try again. Let's try this arc light. I can, I can keep the touch. There we go. Wow! Um, that was amazing. That did 300 damage. Alright, continuing. 
Yes, because next up is the... Um, I'm going to drop a save really, really fast. Yeah, especially it's, it's been a little bit since we saved. Okay. Yep, Prince, look, it's that red robot again. If that thing catches it, just it'll throw us out on our ears. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Can't catch me. All right. Now here's the boss that tripped us up a little bit last time. This boss, I thought I was gonna die at a couple times. So we're gonna see how it goes. Intruders detected. Intruders detected. Eliminate. Eliminate. Hello. <laughs> oh, I should have moved Holly up to the front. Uh, we'll, we'll do that next round. Oh, come on, seriously? Yeah, nope, I gotta move Holly up. Come on, if I could do another 300 damage, that would be brilliant. 282. That's not bad at all. Oh, Holly. Uh, move, I guess. I probably should be guarding. But um, I'm going to see if I can do another uh, almost 300. Please? Please? 600 damage would be... Amazing. Okay, we're really close. Okay, well that didn't help. <sighs> healing wing takes- oh, healing wing- that's right, healing wing takes 100% of HP. So I'll just use the gummy frog on Prince's turn, even though uh, I really- Prince right now might be doing the most amount of damage. Okay, no, they're- they're- right now they're pretty equal. Uh, use a, a gummy frog. Please eat this frog. Nom 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 nom. Level three lock on. Ugh, please, enough. Oh, seriously, all me? I don't like that, please. That's like my least favorite thing. All right, here we go. Wow, my voice really cracked there. Yes. Keeping, mm, keeping the touch. Ha ha, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. Goodness gracious, that little bit of grinding did we did was like really worth it. <laughs> Please? Oh, so close. Oh, I got one. I'm gonna win talent it. <gasps> because if we can. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Hurry up, Prince. We have to get this rocket off the ground before more of those robot things show up. <sighs> we did it! And I was I was actually fairly nice, like spot on on time. I said 2.30. Um, Space Pod Newman, prepared for liftoff. Please execute a command. Space Pod Newman, prepared for liftoff. Please execute a command. H hey, who's there? Who's Newman? Ah, this thing is blasting off. Um, so yeah, uh, I know I did the second stream, even though it, it, it has since been lost to the bad internet gods, um, I did a little bit of the water planet, the next planet, which is, uh, sorry, a little bit of spoiler, the water planet, though I guess, I don't know. Um, I did a little bit, I like got to the next town. But I remember that took me much longer than I really wanted, and I don't want to go, like, really late tonight. Um, we're already 15 minutes past when I really kind of wanted to stop. Um, you, you know, my, like, scheduled time. Uh, so when we get to the next planet, I'm just going to save, and we're going to we're gonna end it there. All right, at, at altitude climbing. Wind speed, 3.2 knots. Air temperature, 2.5. 
21.2 degrees, visibility 7 miles. We're blasting off into space, yes! But uh, where are we going? That's a great question. Cassia, the water planet. I always feel like it's gonna. I always feel like it's gonna go. Something like that, like like continue the guitar rift, but it doesn't. Chicka 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 chicka. Shake 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 shake. Oh my gosh, what is this place? Hey Prince, is this buffoon? No, uh, it doesn't look much like a wind planet. I guess these rockets go where they want and not where you want them to. All right. Yep, here we go. Oh, listen to that nice stereo audio. Yeah, there's no way this is a wind planet. I mean, look, this place is like wall-to-wall -wall water. Maybe it's a little breezy, but I doubt that's enough to qualify for it being a wind planet. Yeah. My hand is like... My wrist is not like any. Captain! There be a rocket coming. We got us some meddling spacefarers, me thinks. Hmm, is it the space police? Nar, it be no space police rocket from the looks of it. Then we've nothing to worry about. A handful of space tourists won't trouble us, I dare say. Brr, this planet's freezing cold. I thought we landed on a water planet, but it feels more like an ice planet. Board Newman, the magical rocket? Yes. We're gonna board Newman. We're gonna save. And this is where we're gonna end it. Um, two hours and 11 minutes or so in game time. Uh, and we have made it to the second planet. We have gotten completely through where we were on the first stream and about halfway through where we were on the second stream. So that means next stream, technically the fourth stream, <laughs> we will be trading like the second. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for being here. Let me switch over to this and then all right um yeah thank you so 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 much for being here um for coming to join me watching this uh i really appreciate every single one of you uh if you are not already uh following me here on twitch uh please i would be ever so grateful if you would drop a follow uh so you can get you get notifications of when i'm live uh and stuff like that um as well if you are not following me on twitter uh, I'm there at Prince VTube. I'm very active on Twitter. Uh, I do polls about things like what my viewers want to see next. Um, I also talk about like my plans. You get my schedules. Uh, so um, as well, we're heading towards, we're on the path towards 300 followers. Uh, and when we get 300 followers, I will be doing a horror game stream, which is going to be, as I discussed earlier in the stream, is going to be a little bit of hell, but it's going to be a fun hell. Um, mostly hell for me, mostly fun for you, for y'all. Um, <laughs> um, uh, if you want to see the previous VOD of, uh, my other, or the VOD of my previous Magical Star Sign stream, uh, that is up on YouTube. Um, it, it is currently live, uh, and I'm there. Same name is on Twitch, Melorosia Prince. Uh, this VOD will be going up sooner or later. Uh, maybe before the end of the week. I don't, I don't really have a set schedule of when I upload VODs. I, it kind of is just whenever I have time. <laughs> um, but uh, there is, I have YouTube only streams. Uh, the other stream this week, which is Friday, I think. I have to, I have to check my own schedule because I don't remember. I think it is Friday. Uh, let me double check. Do, 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 go into my own stream schedule. Yes, it is Friday. Um, it is another uh, same time period. So whatever time that I started the stream for you guys, uh, for me, it's 8 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, GMT minus five now with Daylight Savings Time. 
Oh, that's weird. Um, it's going to be the same same kind of time frame, 8 to 10 p.m. Um, and, you know, CGS, TU, GMT, my six, five, sorry, five, five. Um, and it is going to be another catch-up stream uh, because I'm going to be trying to get to where I was on Professor Layton uh, and the Curious Village. Um, and that is a YouTube-only stream. That is not going to be streamed here on Twitch. Um, so if you want to get notifications about that stream, uh, go subscribe on YouTube. Uh, I also have the YouTube-only series um, right now, which is creating the Melorosia kingdom in Minecraft, uh, which as as well is you you know YouTube only. So if you want to see that, please go check that out. Um, otherwise, well, I hope you have a wonderful meowning afternoon, evening, whatever whatever time it is for you. I I really hope you have a, a wonderful day. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna try something interesting is that I'm gonna raid a channel. I'm gonna see, yes, because Lazuli is live. Uh, so we are going to raid him and then I will stop the stream. So thank you very much for joining. Ready to raid in three, two, one. All right. Bye bye.